Well, uh, post-exposure prophylaxis is a medication that is taken by an HIV-negative person after a risky sexual um, incident, and it's taken 72 hours after the uh, incident. So the main purpose of post-exposure prophylaxis is to prevent HIV acquisition, and this is one of the um, health uh, prevention or HIV prevention method that will be launching uh, today. Also, with that being said, I mean, when we look at uh, the HIV infection numbers, Paul, we know that uh, there's research and a study that shows that there's been a decrease, but the number still uh, is there in terms of those who are, you know, infected with HIV, living with HIV. The age demographic, I understand, starting from as young as 15 years of age, uh, definitely going up. Uh, what interventions do you think are needed to keep that number down and ideally, um, you know, to, to zero? Because that's why we're having this commemoration every single year, because we want to see that number going down. As I'm speaking to you, uh, you are correct, young people are the most affected uh, demographics in our country. And the reason that fuel epidemic is that as a country, uh, research shows that young people are introduced to early sexual debut. Uh, we've got high number of young people who do not believe or who do not use condom consistently. And you also have high number of young people that do not know about pre-exposure prophylaxis and also post-exposure prophylaxis. But more importantly, they are not testing. And, and all these factors combined with gender-based violence, uh, they fuel, they give rise to the number of uh, sexual transmissions that we are seeing. So uh, shout it now and also in collaboration with the Department of Health, 